For our first step in making this plastic, we're going to need something called acetone, which you can get a Canadian tire in the body filling section around the bondo and stuff. A little metal thing, this, uh, this plastic thing would probably melt if we threw the acetone into it. So we apparently, well, we should have glasses and shit on because apparently this stuff's really toxic. So, I'm going to put a little couple of drips in there. Hope we don't kill ourselves. And, uh, yeah, rock on. Now apparently this stuff lets out some pretty crazy toxic fumes, so uh... Does it? Why didn't you tell me that before? You should open the window. Yeah, I should, except that window doesn't open. Oh. Alright, well... Okay, well, they find our bodies. <laughs> we'll have this video to show it. Yes, happens. exactly. So we start by going, uh-oh, we got some... Holy shit. It actually sizzles. Now that's the, uh... Carbon dioxide and all that other crap... Nice and close. Just push down like that. You see that? Hmm. It's better to just ground the stuff up or whatever, but that makes a pretty bad mess. I'm gonna some plastic in there. See, styrofoam is basically blown plastic. There's a uh, carbon dioxide and some other shit in there. So by doing it like this, we're essentially taking all all that isn't plastic of making plastic. Oh, it's kind of melting. Now, the way to keep it from evaporating is to, uh, oh, what would you do to Look at her go. We're just going to cap this and go find some more foam. Polymer only sticks to polymers. Right? You're basically lubricating in between the polymer molecules, right? <laughs> Solvent does nothing more than dissolve it. And works as a space in between. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Bondo, right? Let's see what we Don't got. Don't block it, though. Go on here. Isn't that cool? That's pretty cool. And this stuff will be hard. That's fully completed. Now you can make patches with that or whatever. Just like dough. You're getting there anyway. As it dries out a bit more, it gets harder and harder.